Hello. Today I want to talk to you about JDEX machine vision cameras and our machine vision software that's going to allow us to do tube classification. So test tube and cap, identify test tube and caps in whatever kind of application or device where you need to identify those. Uh, today I'm, I'm going to be using our Allegro IVD 2 megapixel camera, which is a new product from JDAC. So as I said, it's a 2 megapixel color camera. We have it available at 5 megapixel monochrome, other versions as well. This is an, an open system, basically a little Linux computer, if you will. And we have a whole other video on that describing how you can use this camera and, and all the different ways you can connect to it. I'm also using our Clarity software, which you can see in the inset, which, allow, which will allow you to develop these machine vision algorithms and run them on the camera afterwards. I have our Allegro IVD camera on this fixture here. And you can see that I have a little background set up where I can enter the test tube so the camera can see it. And then the camera, the resulting machine vision algorithms can identify that test tube. I want to talk a little bit about the process that we use to do this. So I'll go to this, to my directory here. And you can see I have an, an image library that we took. We, now this image library was taken of, of a bunch of test tubes similar to these, these same types. They were taken on a different camera in a different setup and so on. With the whole theory being that I can use those same algorithms as long as I have my camera set up about the same as, as the camera that was used to capture those images and I can use those to in turn recognize test tubes in a, in a live fashion. And again, these image library, I've got four or five different test tubes here, as well as uh, test tubes with no cap at all, we can recognize them. So let's get started here. Let's start out with, uh, I have this Sarstedt green cap. I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to hit run. And when I hit run, we go for, through a few steps here. And you can see all these all these steps lighted up green, which means they passed. I identified it as a star step tube and the medium green color. Now, I, it probably bears me to take to walk through these different steps. So first, I'm acquiring an image. I'm processing that image to make it a black and white image, which some of the machine vision algorithms require. Then I'm doing a finder step where I'm I have this area of interest here, so I'm, I'm walking through this area of interest, or the, the machine vision algorithm is, and finding the top of the cap. Once we do that, I'm acquiring another image at a slightly different um, exposure time, slightly brighter, which will make it easier to identify the color of this cap. And I have this color match region here, which, which is anchored at a certain distance from the top of the cap, and I'm looking for that color. And as you can see, I've got a match of green for that color, medium green. And then I go through my tube classifier step. Now this is where that image library that I showed you previously comes in, where I'm looking at my library of images of SARSTAT 100 by 15 tubes and saying, yep, that's what this is. It's, the, it's really the same kind of tube as in that image library. And then we just have an output step which says, this would be the outputs that would go to this host device, which would say, yep, I recognize the SARSTEC cap, it's a medium green color, and you can move on to the next step. Let's try another one here. I'll, I'll, I'll do another one again. So this is the, another SARSTEC, as you can see. And I'm gonna run again. So we run through our two steps. You can see we gather a couple different images, and again, I'm getting a good match here, pink, SARSTAT 100 by 15. And similarly, I can try any of these different, different tubes. This is a, a large BD cap. We'll run that. So again, another 100 by 15 tube, yellow cap, BD vacuum tape, vac vacutainer. So, that's good. Now let's go to this darker. I think I called this a Kelly green. Happened to be recording this on St. Patrick's Day, so that, that was appropriate. Kelly green. 
Now I want to run through a little bit tougher test, really, where I have these three different green caps right here, and there are, I want to just show that we can recognize the difference between all three of these. So let's go back to our SAR stud again. That's the one I ran previously. We'll run that again. That was a medium green. And again, medium green, and that came out as it should. Not a surprise, because we did that one just a few minutes ago. Now I'm gonna run this darker green. I think I called that a Kelly green. Today, today's St. Patrick's Day, so I called it a Kelly green. And let's see what we came up with. Kelly green, so that's good. I should point out this little number you see on the screen here, 1.27, that's the color distance. So we can actually set up a configuration so you can tell how close of a match you need to have to that color. And the last one is this, I think I called that one light green, and it's really not that different from the medium green. But let's see how we did. And that's the light green, not the medium green. So that shows again that you can differentiate fairly close colors, again, as long as you captured your color library correctly up in the beginning. And then let's just do one final test. We'll throw in the no cap. and two classifiers, no cap. So really that's the end of the demo. I wish I could show you a lot more. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more varieties of caps and tubes, but you could capture these all with our, our Clarity tube classifier software, flash the resulting algorithm down into our Allegro IVD camera, and be well on your way to capturing and identifying tube and cap shapes and colors. Thank you.